it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. The magnifying glass. Case number one. Let's begin. Well, well, I see evidence of the criminal. The criminal's fingerprints, to be exact. He won't get away with it. Why do you think she's just looking at us instead of chasing us? Oh, maybe she can't see us and we're invisible. Then how come I see you? Simka, no look. Be careful. Don't destroy the tracks. What kind of tracks? Whose tracks are they? Shh. I have to solve a crime. A crime? What kind? Someone stole a wing from this plane. But I'm on the trail. Take a look at that fingerprint. I'm looking. Well, and so? Each fingerprint is unique. So if you can find fingerprints, that means you have a good chance to find out who left them. Class! It's been known for quite a long time that all humans have their own unique fingerprints. It's true. No two people have the exact same fingerprints, and this fact helps the police catch criminals. It starts by finding fingerprints at the scene of the crime. Then the police compare those fingerprints with the fingerprints of someone who may have committed the crime. If they match, they found the criminal. This method is called datiloscopy. Besides catching criminals, fingerprints can also be used to replace ordinary keys. When you press your finger against a special electronic lock, the lock recognizes your fingerprint, and then it's, please come on in. By the way, unlike humans, we fixies don't leave fingerprints anywhere. And that's why even the police can't find us. Now we'll put a dog on the scent of the criminal. Chusaka, sniff. Pick up the trail. Now go find. Hey, what's wrong? Chusaka's broken. We've got to fix her then. How? She's not a vacuum cleaner. She's a real live dog. Fixies know how to fix it all. Not true. Almost all. The first thing we have to do is a thorough inspection. Let's see now. Her eyes are looking quite healthy. Good. Tails in one piece. Ears are clean? Yeah. Tongue, rosy pink. Tom Thomas, stand her up on all four feet. No, paws, I mean. Uh-huh. Chusaka. <laughs> Go on, you're fine. Now I understand. Here's what's out of order. It's her right paw. But I can't see what's wrong. I wonder if something's broken on the inside. Wait. Maybe something really small is stuck in her paw there. Tom Thomas, we need your lens. Here. In order to examine a small object, you need a lens. A magnifying lens is a special piece of glass that is thicker in the middle than on the sides. It bends the light that passes through it. And that is why if you put this kind of lens between your eyes and something small, it looks like the thing got bigger. If you put two lenses in a frame, you get a pair of glasses. And if you add a handle to the lens, you get a magnifying glass. There it is, a splinter. It's glass, I think. Looks like it. Uh, you're right. It's possible it's from the lamp in the hallway. It broke yesterday, and I guess not every little piece got swept up. Chusaka, hey there! You're all better now. Looks like we fixed her. Tanish, she's all repaired and working. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have cured an ungrateful dog. Ah! Simka, no look, here it is. The wing that was lost. Yeah, that's great, only you still have to figure out who hid it underneath the bed there. Yeah, you still need to match the fingerprints. The fingerprints on the wing are the same as on the plane. But whose are they? 
And did you check your fingerprints out? Huh, all the fingerprints are mine. So I guess it was really my own fault. I just lost it somehow. <laughs> so it turns out that you were the criminal? Hooray! The crime's been solved! <laughs> <laughs> and you, Tom Thomas, are the criminal! <laughs> the solar battery. Let's see, three times 648. He won't get it himself. Nope. Well, I bet he will. Tom Thomas is so smart. Yeah, smart, but lazy. I'll bet you a flick in the head. Then get ready. Huh? Shh. We promise we can't bother him during homework time. I really wish I didn't have to write this out. Why write everything on paper when you got a calculator? I knew he'd say that. Without a calculator, he can't get it. It seems like the batteries are dead. Did you see that? The calculator won't turn on, so he's gonna have to solve it by himself. What's the problem? Come on, where are the batteries here? <laughs> Sukanolik, just come out already. I can hear that you're here. Hi, Tom Thomas. Well, you can't figure out where the batteries need to go? <laughs> I don't get what's so funny. Because there are no batteries inside of this thing. What do you mean, no? Then where does the calculator, you know, get a... Where does it get electricity? Uh-huh. There's a solar battery in there. The sun turns it on? A long time ago, it was discovered by scientists that some materials produce electricity when light hits them. Sheets that are made out of these materials are called photoelectric cells. By connecting a few of these photoelectric cells together, you can build a solar battery. A solar battery in a calculator sits behind a small clear window. And when light hits the solar battery, it produces the electricity that powers the calculator. I don't see a little window anywhere on here. That's because you covered up the window with a sticker for some reason. The reason is that it looks great. Good job. It looks really great, but it can't work now. Well, farewell, sticker. I can't get it off. Then just leave it alone. Go ahead and solve the problems without the calculator. Then I'll be the one flicking you. Flicking who? Did you forget? We're the fixies, and we have to fix everything. Ah, oh, Simka, that's a sneaky plan. It's not sneaky at all. You better find something to tear off the sticker with. Okay, how about them? take forever doing it this way. Yeah. I got an idea. Let's use this paper clip. And what's next? I'll just stick the end to the paper clip and then wrap it around. Tish! With the help of solar batteries, we can produce electricity without burning any oil or coal. Unfortunately, these batteries aren't very powerful. A calculator can get enough energy from a small little battery. But in order to power a whole city with solar energy, you need to have power plants with huge fields full of solar batteries. And of course, it's best to build these plants where the sun shines bright and long, like out in the desert. By the way, in outer space, the sun shines very brightly, and it's never blocked by clouds. That's why all of the vehicles and satellites in space use solar energy for power, including the International Space Station, where astronauts from different countries work together. Tom Thomas! What, you guys all done? Uh-huh. Now you can go solve your problems on the calculator. But I already solved them on paper before you peeled off the sticker. Hooray! I'm the winner! Ow! 
That's totally unfair. If it wasn't for the sticker, you would have lost. What's going on? Nothing. Never mind. That's nothing to you? Well done, Tom Thomas. You got them all right. Now it's working. Look, a picture of our Nolik. Where? Where? Right there on the calculator. Oh, I got it. Zero means no, Nolik. <laughs> Knots. <gasps> no, look, there are pirates off the starboard side. <gasps> Battery, fire. Hey, I'm not a pirate. Why'd you hit me? That's it. I'm tired of playing the wind. Where are my pirates? This looks great. Can I board your ship? And what are your skills? Tons, like protecting the ship and yelling hooray when we win. And how about good sea knots? Can you tie them? <laughs> of course I can tie them. Then tie up our treasure and make sure it's good and tight. Pirates, prepare to attack. I got it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, 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 that's done. Good enough. It's good and tight. Now, can you survive a storm? Without a doubt. <gasps> Whoa! 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 Our treasure! It sunk into the sea. That was my that was my mom's necklace we sunk. I'll pick it all up, don't worry. No, thank you. We'll manage ourselves. He calls himself a sailor. Go and learn to tie some knots. <sighs> Try tying two ropes into a knot. You think it's easy? A badly tied knot will untie itself before you know it. Here's one way to tie it right. First, cross over the two ends like this. Now, to finish the knot, you've got to cross them over again. But not this way. It's got to be in the opposite direction. When it's done, it looks like one loop inside another. This kind of knot is called a square knot. And it won't untie as long as you tie it right. And that's just one of the many kinds of knots a sailor has to learn. Oh! Okay. I knew I could tie it. Now what else is there to practice on around here? I found some more of our treasure. Here's another one. That's 19, but we're supposed to have 20. I know it because I counted our treasure. So what happened to the last one? Well done there. So what else could I tie? Perfect. I even remember what it looks like. It's a different color. It's a bright red one. Oh, Mom's gonna notice right away that the red one's gone. I gotta go find it. Yeah, I think it's on the floor. Who tied my laces together? I was just practicing, sorry. And what else did you tie up to practice your knots? Um, uh, not sure you want to know. You're funny. Let's go and tie them. Don't look at me that way. I'm scared. She's just staring at her own whiskers, Nolik. And what have you done to her whiskers? Well, I tied them with the square knot. Fire, you're just a blockhead. And why don't you tell us what else you've done? Well, okay. I tied a decoration on her tail. That's where it is. We were looking everywhere for that thing. Fire, go and fix everything you've done. Chusaka, don't run away. Don't be scared. We just want to untie the knot. Sailors have developed all sorts of different knots. Without them, they couldn't control their sails. But we couldn't get by without knots on land, either. Mountain climbers use tightly knotted ropes to help them climb and keep them safe. 
fishermen tie hooks to their fishing line using special knots. You can't even pitch a camping tent properly without making a knot. When people sew, they tie knots in the thread to hold it in place. And doctors use knots when they stitch and bandage a wound. And a tie wouldn't be a tie if you didn't tie a knot in it. Sneakers won't fall off your feet. And the laces won't drag on the ground if they're tied with a proper knot. But sometimes things can get knotted up by accident. And that's one time when you don't need to know how to tie knots, but how to untie them. All aboard! Like that? Now the only thing left to do is tie a knot. Should I tie it? Are you sure it won't untie? You're joking. Why don't you go ask Yusaka? If I can tie a knot like a sailor, 